Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited to be reviewing the Sultanicals I Can't Believe It's Not Honey Hair Caramel. So when I first saw this on Instagram, I was like, woo, because you know my hair loves humectants. So it just sounded like all my favorite things, so I couldn't wait to try it. So here it is. And these are the ingredients. So as you can see, there are a lot of humectants. Agave nectar, which is a humectant, is the first ingredient. And then there's some oils and then more humectants. So humectants are really good for low porosity here because it really penetrates the strand. So I was really excited to try this and see what would happen. But there's no fatty alcohols, no BTMS, no butters and so on. It smells like a mixture of agave and probably everything else in here. So like a fruity, molassy agave. I want to tell you about the texture, but it was hard to tell because even though I shake it up, well, okay, I didn't shake it the first time, I'll be honest, but I shake it up and then I use, sometimes it came out kind of like a thickish syrup and sometimes it came out like a liquid syrup, so I didn't know which one it was supposed to be or if it was supposed to be something in between. Both were easy to spread. The thicker version was somewhat easier to handle, like get onto the hair. The more liquidy version, you had to just kind of hurry up and get it onto the hair, so... I guess I'll show you what I mean, I'll just show you the demo and then I'll come back and talk about it some more, so check it out. <laughs> so I started off by shampooing just to make sure that there was no build up or anything to prevent this moisture wonder that was supposed to ensue. <laughs> so this is my hair after shampooing. And then I sectioned as they wanted us to and applied the syrup. So as you can see, sometimes when I pour the syrup, like it was thick and then sometimes it was runny, so I don't know. It went on okay. You can see that there was some slip, but there was some struggle. <laughs> but overall it was okay, it wasn't horrible in terms of slip. After I applied it to the section, I just redid the section by twisting it up and clipping it again. So I didn't want to use the shower cap, I wanted to steam, but it was just too drippy. This is my hair after being under the dryer for half an hour and letting it sit for another hour. My hair seemed pretty much dry after that. Not dry as in lacking moisture, but dry as in it actually dried. <laughs> and this is my hair after rinsing, the final result. You can see that there is some shine, some moisture but still the slip wasn't perfect and stuff like that so i had mixed feelings it was okay good things bad things and let me discuss it more now yeah so that was it it also said to rub it into the scalp but i'm not rubbing anything onto my scalp after i shampoo i love my scalp i love my sebum so i'm not messing with that i said to leave it on for one to two hours i left it on for an hour and a half I usually steam my hair when I deep condition and I was using this as a deep conditioner but it was so drippy. The drip one, I had to bow. <laughs> there was no way I could steam with that. I would just be a puddle. Even with the shower cap, it was still pretty drippy. It was drippy and sticky, which was even worse. I mean, it's just syrup, you know, it's just syrup. And while it's wet, the slip is decent. <laughs> yep, it started already, you heard that? I haven't even let it dry that long, so after sitting two hours, girl, your finger like this, basically. Body parts sticking together, and it, 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 it was really super sticky, so warning, sticky, messy, drippy. But how did it work? I had a shower cap on, I went under the hair dryer for like 30 minutes. I would say by the end of it, my hair was pretty much dry, as you saw in the clip, so it was interesting. My hair is low porosity, it's ultra low, low porosity, so it doesn't really get wet. So there isn't that much water in there in the first place, so that's probably why it became almost completely dry at the end. If I use a regular deep conditioner, it can trap more water there. And I think just trapping more water with the heat would probably allow more of that water to penetrate my hair. So there was no instant wow, like what some people were saying. There were mixed reviews of this on social media and I can kind of see where the mixed reviews came from. It was hydrated but I have two textures and most of it is wiry, just this very bottom is silky. 
The wiry part of my hair is rough to the touch, so I really need something on it to also smoothen it and soften it. And this is supposed to be hair softening. It says embed serious moisture, softens and hydrates. It embedded decent moisture, did not soften. My hair was hydrated and all that, but it wasn't soft enough like how I like it. So if you look at my old videos when I love a deep conditioner, I'm just running my hands through afterwards. And you may have seen me try to run my hands through and it was like, especially since I had shampooed before I used it, it just after rinsing didn't have that full on all the slips. So my hair wasn't tangled, but the slip wasn't there. So my pants were getting caught in my hair on the way down. So will I repurchase this? I would say no. I'm going to definitely use it and I'm going to enjoy using it, but I'll use it how I usually use these things. Because I do a DIY version that's pretty similar. I use the DIY honey, molasses, glycerin, oils and stuff. But I usually pour it into an existing deep conditioner. Or like I, you know, I'm kind of getting there in my mixing. So I actually have BTMS and stuff, cetyl alcohol. So I would either include that into a deep conditioner or make this and then mix it with a regular deep conditioner. But I wouldn't use this alone to deep condition. So I didn't hate it. I just think the suggested use doesn't really work for my hair. And it's really a lifesaver, I would say, mixed into deep conditioner because it really will amp up your deep conditioner, I believe. My DIY version does, but I wouldn't repurchase this just because I already make it myself. So if you don't make it yourself and you have dry hair, this would be a good thing for you to purchase and just squirt a little bit into your deep conditioner every week. And I do think you'll definitely see a difference. So I wouldn't repurchase it, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't purchase it if you have a need for more hydration and more moisture because this is all moisture. I just need some softening as well and conditioning as well. So when I rinse it, I want to feel some slip and some conditioning and some um still there. If my hair was silky everywhere, it would still feel soft to the touch regardless. So maybe that's why people would silk your hair loves it more than people would like rougher textures. But for my texture, it didn't do everything I needed a deep conditioner to do. But you can see my hair did look shiny. My hair was moisturized and everything. So it's like almost all the way there but not quite for me. Easier detangling, I would say no, because it was be just enough slip going on, nothing to scream about, and after rinsing, the slip was gone. So, easier detangling, no. Softening, you would no. So, for me, it does half of what it says, and it does that half decently well, but the other half it doesn't do, and I need it to do everything it says. And I love the Afrotastic Curl Elastic, so I'm definitely going to be sticking with that as my Sultanicals deep conditioner. Some people who didn't like it were saying that it made their hair really hard and really like proteinable or something kind of feeling. So it definitely didn't do all that for me. My hair was still decent. I used the Sultanicals Wintergreen Supreme for my leave-in. And with this, putting this on, everything was back to normal because this added all the softening I needed. So between the two of these, it worked really well. So I don't know if you want to try something like this with this over it or something, but as a combo, it worked really well. So that was it. Let me know if you were curious about the hair caramel. Let me know if you bought it and what you thought of it. So I'm a Sultanicals fan and I know that I have a lot of Sultanicals fans in my subbies. So let's chat. Let's talk about it. Let's dish if you are also a PJ and you're a Sultanicals PJ and you're proud. <laughs> let me know in the comments and let me know how this hair caramel works for you. And let me know what your favorite Sultanicals deep conditioner is. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Be sure to subscribe for more content and click the notification bell so you can see when I upload new videos, which I try to do every Friday. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.